At what stage did you get to when you landed your first big gig? What, what was that uh, like and when did that happen? Oh, well, it depends on what we consider the first wow. big gig, right? <laughs> big is a subjective term, I guess, <laughs> but in your eyes, in your eyes. I think for me, the first big gig, um, obviously single ladies, yeah. but it was the gig before single ladies that got, the gig that got me single ladies, you know, was um, Michelle Williams. It was her debut album. Okay. Um, Frank Gatson was creative directing. He was having a huge audition looking for male dancers. At the time, I was like, you know, I'm really not the type of dancer he'll hire, yeah, you know, because yeah. I was so small and skinny at the time. <laughs> you still are. <laughs> I would like to believe. <laughs> um, but I was like, you know, let me go and see what, where this can go, you know. I may not be the right dancer, but I do think I have something to offer him. Yeah. You know, I could be some kind of help for him, some kind of way. Um, and it was my first time ever meeting him. Yeah. So I went to the audition, the, literally one of the longest auditions I've ever done, and made it out to the end, and he asked people to freestyle. I did my little freestyle yeah. thing, and he pulled me outside, was like, yo, I really enjoyed that. You know, that's kind of the vibe we're looking for. Yeah. You know, the energy is cool, it feels fresh, it feels new. Mm. Do you mind doing it again when Michelle comes? Okay. So he kept me, Michelle came, did the freestyle again, she loved it. And um, from there he called, you know, a couple of days later, was like, hey, can you come stop by the rehearsal, teach us a few grooves, mm -hmm. a few little just vibes, energy things. I'll give you a couple hundred dollars and we'll keep it moving. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And I was like, absolutely. 100%, yeah. yeah. Um, and then through me teaching, at that day, through me teaching, he was like, oh, you know how to work with people, you know how to, teach mm. you know how to choreograph well you know how to deal with the team you know how to so organize such you young know age i keep on thinking you were like a teenager yeah a at teenager that time i was at like 17 yeah 18 i was 18 yeah you know but i was doing this in atlanta you know i had a crew of 12 people i was over you True. know and i was putting creative director all our performances yeah. and yeah, yeah. you know putting together all these routines so i had been teaching for a while yeah um, and then from there, he was like, okay, how about you come on board and become assistant choreographer for the project, yeah. We Break the Dawn. And then he was like, how about you come on board and you choreograph her entire promo tour? Oh my gosh, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was like, sure. Of course, yeah, yeah. So after that, he was like, I may have a really good job, big job for you in a few months, you know, stand by. Yeah. So I went back to doing what I was doing, Sick assisting lady. people and <laughs> dancing. Oh my God, yeah, yeah. Then, <laughs> Like three, four months later, he called, was like, hey, I have this Beyonce record. Can you get to New York tonight? Yeah. I can't email it to you. And you'll stay for a few days. If she likes you, you know, we'll, you'll stay on. If not, I'll get you back to L.A. and we'll figure out what's next. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, I mean, <laughs> it's just crazy how life works, first and foremost, from just one audition to that in such a yeah. short space of time. But... What was it like first walking into that interaction with, was Beyonce in the room? Or it was me and Frank. Happen? So yeah. that the first day, it was literally me and Frank in the studio. You okay. know, beautiful Ivan Ailey, one of my favorite studios in the world. Yeah. Besides Erdang, which I think is like one of my favorites yeah. as well. Um, it was me, Frank, and Ashley Everett in the studio and we just started looking at things, started moving around a bit, started to create. Mm. Um, and then Beyonce came in the room later on that day and started to learn and see, and we talked, and yeah. we did it again the next day for a few days, and we just kind of kept that spirit going. Yeah, 100%. And what's the process like of creating a move that the whole world was doing pretty much? Because you have <coughs> such a massive impact on the culture as a whole. Mm -hmm. What's the process in actually creating something like that? Oh my God. You know, it's literally <laughs> creating, looking at, talking about it, reviewing, correcting, yep. doing it again, over and over again. Um, it was super important for us to get inside of her head and yep. what she wanted as an artist and how she felt. Um, the movement and the energy should feel and we really wanted to 
do something new and fresh that people yeah. hadn't seen. Um, the Bob Fosse reference was a killer reference. Yeah. Uh, the Mexican breakfast. You know, so it was kind of like a home run. You know, you got this boy from Atlanta yeah. with this cool country down south style and flavor mixed with this super vintage, um, technical jazz yeah, background yeah. piece. Yeah. You know, um, it made for a great canvas there, yeah. you know. Yeah. Naturally, you'd think that those two things don't go yeah. together, but somehow they did quite, quite uh -huh. well. Um, I've got to ask as well, when Kanye went up on, on stage at the VMAs <laughs> and said, Beyonce had the best video of all time, obviously you feel really sorry for, for Taylor Swift, but was there a part of you that felt, yeah, Kanye just co-signed my, my choreography in that video? Yeah, absolutely. You know, um, we worked really hard on that. Yeah. We worked extremely hard, yeah. you know, so... Um, I'm happy Kanye feel the way I have felt. Yeah. <laughs> would you have gone up on stage and done the same thing? I don't know if I would have did the same yeah. thing, but yeah. um, you know, he means well. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs>